Hello once again Edison fans and I'd like to welcome you again to my music channel and thank you for viewing. And here is the latest phonograph in my Edison Diamond Disc Collection. This is my Edison B80. Um, it's a tabletop model. GID tag. There is your how you raise and lower as compared to the raise and lower arm that you have on a regular Diamond Disc, later Diamond Disc phonograph. This one is at the end of the tone arm. Then of course you have the reproducer turntable platter. There's your start stop lever. And you have on the side you have your crank and then down below that you have your speed control. And then the inner workings on the inside is a smaller elongated horn. I'm trying to get the best possible picture. As you can see the throat is much smaller. It's a real small horn. Um, this is one of the only phonographs to be belt driven. And as you can see, there is the belt, runs all the way back there, down along a rod, down to the gears and the governor. The big thing you see there is the barrel spring. The feed screw mechanism is behind the horn and works just like the uh, feed, feed screw mechanisms on the other uh, later diamond disc phonographs. Um, I purchased this unit used, however it has been refurbished with a new barrel spring taken completely apart. Everything has been re-greased and as you can see it looks almost brand new on the inside. It's nice and oiled up. There's another picture of the horn if you can see it. And I will now play this diamond disc phonograph for you with a song entitled Sesquicentennial Exposition March by John Philip Sousa and it's played by Sidero's band. Now, one thing about these reproducers when you're lowering them on the tone, when you're lowering them on the record, you want to make sure that sometimes you may need to use both hands because when you let go, it wants to set down rather hard. So, I will do the best I can and finish off this presentation by this record. 51777R Sesquicentennial Exposition March. And the turntable is belt driven, however, the feed screw and the screw that turns the belt are mechanized. The only thing that's belt driven on here is the turntable. And this was one of the first phonographs that Edison Production Company made after the December 1914 factory fire. Um, I have not had the case redone at all. I've had it refinished, um, but as far as all the nicks and everything, that remains, and I will keep it that way. Um, so if you have one of these rare phonographs, it is a real treat to have. So I will now play for you Sesquicentennial Exposition March.
and I uh, thank you for watching. This has been a presentation on my Edison B80, the first and only Edison Diamond Disc belt-driven phonograph.